there's this moment when you take off and you're in the air, things aren't in real time. To some people it means, oh, it's a sport. Some people it means, oh, it's an art. Freaking to me, I've, I've explained it so many times, but it's still hard to explain it. Tricking is very expressive, and that's what gives tricking life to me. Tricking is so free. It's a lot of mental and like physical parts to it. You have to think of how you can land flips, take off, and there's like a lot of details like to do tricks. And there's really there's no end to tricking. Sleepy, but we all made it in the end. I think only one of us actually. <laughs> I'm still sleepy. To someone who doesn't know at all about tricking, how would you explain it? It's a mixture of everything your mind can possibly conceive of. We've got martial arts in here, we've got break dancing, we've got gymnastics. Literally, we have video game moves, we have cartoon moves, we have Everything in the world that has some type of like action in it is mixed into this sport. The most important part of tricking for me is the community. I've got to meet so many awesome people around the world. In Israel, in Europe, in America. How often do you guys see each other? Uh, actually pretty often. I saw him in July? Yeah. yeah. Being able to train with these guys, it, it furthers your skill and makes you want to push harder because these are like the best of the best from all around the world. When did you cut your hair? When did I cut my hair? Yeah. That was back in 2010. I was doing my mandatory military service in Finland, so I had to have really short hair. And now I'm probably going to grow it back again. I got started when I saw a video on the internet and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even cartwheel, so it's been a long road from there. It's been a long road from there. I was just really eager to learn. That's, that's the reason why I got good, because I was every day just training hard. Teaching just teaching yourself? I was teaching myself. I didn't have no teachers. I'm more known as a girl for like my tricks because there's not a lot of girls out there that are doing like the higher level tricks that guys are doing. So I definitely take pride in that. Like I still, I still want to have that goal of being like the top female tricker in the world, and I want to like raise the bar for everyone. And I don't know, it's like that's one of my goals, I guess. A lot of times girls get into tricking and they do something simple and all everybody congratulates them right away and says that was pretty good for a girl and and Mackenzie takes away the for a girl part because she's you know tricking just as hard as any of the boys Mackenzie will beat you and she's a girl and you know people better get used to it you know how precious this is this is how I make my money. Okay. What money? <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you. Do that? Yeah. So cool. I started martial arts and I, I never heard about tricking. Like, to me, when I saw somebody do a backflip, I was like, wow, these guys are just throwing their bodies in the air and doing whatever they want. No, it's beyond that. Like, it's how you feel about a certain trick and how you do it and what's the intent behind it.
any other people that inspire you and like? Oh yeah, definitely. From? Like, I think everyone who's like a top tricker or even a tricker in general inspires me really like in different ways. Like Michael Guthrie's now doing quads. Like I never would have thought a couple years ago that people would be doing like triples and quad swings and stuff. It's like, it's crazy. You can never crown a very best tricker because a lot of it is a matter of opinion. But one thing you can say about Michael Guthrie, there is nobody who can do what he can do. I'm pretty well known for the twisting. I was the second person in the world and the first person in America to land the triple course too. Tricking is very expressive. So not everyone's going to be tricking exactly the same. That's what gives tricking life to me is because everyone tricks so differently. My style, it's a lot of martial base. I try to rep martial arts as much as possible. Andy Lee's execution is the next best thing to perfect. When you watch him perform a kick, it's got full extension, full power. I'm, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily good at tricking. I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> I actually was a dancer before I ever started tricking and kind of a backyard tumbler. I literally started from watching gymnastics and cheer competitions on TV at the age of five and then going outside to the concrete and wanting to do it. And I busted my ass a lot of times, but I just wanted to do it so I kept working at it. I started karate when I was four, and then slowly as I got up in the belts, I, I saw like the older kids and all the kids that competed do all the flips and stuff, and that's what I wanted to learn. For me, the way that I trick and the way I progress isn't really, oh, I'm going to try this, let's see if I can do it. It's, uh, it's a lot of planning in my head, because not like all the other kids, I get really nervous when I try some new tricks. So it, it really helps me because I work on all the progressions, all the basics for a long time, and then I'll start variating them and then I'll make them harder. So it's, it's, it's a process. It's definitely a process. at something like I'll go trick. I feel like it's a way like I can just be myself and show how I feel. Like I put my total emphasis in it and I just give it my all for that four seconds that I'm in the air. I would consider tricking to be like my religion. It's my getaway and, and uh, it's everything to me. Tricking can be one of those sports that is just insane. I don't have like an exit goal, but if I'm able to inspire someone else, I'm, I'm happy. no end to tricking. And really it's 
crazy the dedication that people put into tricking. And it becomes more than just sport. I love tricking. I will continue to do it whether I make money off of it or not. If I make money, fine, cool. If I don't, I'll still be in my backyard in the Miller Street training tricking just because it's something that I love to do. I think that tricking has nowhere to go but up. It should continue to grow. You know, I think every last person who finds out about tricking and gets involved in tricking is somebody who's valuable to the practice or could potentially be. If you know about tricking, it's because of everybody who came before you who helped it grow to that point, and I want to keep it going. Everything with traditional martial arts techniques, things from capoeira, flips and twists and acrobatic moves from gymnastics, or even things you see in breakdancing. To some people it means 